Now we've got five junctions, most hardest junctions in West London. So what test centre have I dragged you out to today, Francis? No idea, we're in the arse end of nowhere. He has no idea where he no is. No idea where we are. We've blindfolded him, we put him in the boot and we just dragged him all the way across the other side of London. Yep. He has no idea where he is. Were you at Greenford? Greenford, right? So Greenford. Scott told me to come to Greenford and I literally had to Google where Greenford is. I'm not from around here. This is not my test centre at all. Okay. okay. How complicated most of these junctions are. So it's hard around here? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <Cut>. <laughs> um, right, so what we're going to do is just going to plow on, we're going to switch uh, Francis to these junctions, we're going to see how he deals with these junctions without having zero experience nah, in this area, let alone these junctions. And we're in Scott's automatic spaceship. Right. And today, at Two Day Pass, Francis is going to sing I'm a Little Teapot. Am I? To teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Yeah. Okay. And I accidentally poked myself in the eye. You're right, your eyes were well swatting. Do we need to go back to hospital? And we do an emergency stop. Love it. Let's bring on another. Oh, it's a roundabout. I heard this is the German number three. German three? Yeah. What? Drei. Eins, zwei. No. Oh, you're doing it right. Not Drei. like that. Like that. Right. Follow the sign to Oxford. Junction number three. Okay, cool. Is this target roundabout? No. What is it? What's Greenford. It Greenford roundabout. Okay, so Oxford. It's number third exit and it's on the right. It looks like it might be the fourth exit if you're going to look at that sign and look at the dual carriageway, but try and work out that that's a dual carriageway and the bit that is a square not a point is where you jump on not when you come off actually you can see it can you see it from over there you can see it from over there mm -hmm. there's a no issue sign so one two good eins zwei drei eins zwei drei yeah. uno dos tres okay, what other languages can we do <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what about french i just uh un do uh un dos un tra tra i can't i try one dos cat. Bonne de douche. Bonne de douche. One two, one two. <laughs> Bonjour. Alright, so, so far Francis is holding the right lane past exit one. Alright, now he's spiralled out to the centre lane with very good mirror checks. And he's spiralling out to far left lane. Very good mirror check. It looked like a spiral well round about where Take the lanes the disappeared. Left for me. Where the lanes disappeared after every junction, that's the point where you're supposed to be in the next lane to the left. If you stick to the outs inside lane all the way around, then you're gonna to have to cut across three lanes when you get to your exit. That's gonna be Now dangerous. I'm glad that you mentioned that because this is a little bit of a, a tip for the Greenford roundabout. If you use the middle lane on the approach that helps you to keep to the middle to okay. the outside lane on the exit. Does that oh, make right. sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that prevents you from having to cut over one, two lanes. Would that not be correct though? The examiner's not my right I down. mean, you've done it completely safe. Your mirror checks are on point. You're yeah. gradually spiraling out as you pass the first, first exit, you spiral out to the middle lane. Yeah, yeah like I did. Yeah. As you pass the second exit, you spiraled out to okay. the third lane. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. On point and mirror checked every time. Turn left at the roundabout, first exit. Mini roundabout, nice and easy. Good. Turning left. Now, from your experience as an instructor, or 50 years of your experience as an instructor. Oh, that old mate. <laughs> that's why he shaves his head, he's all grey. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so, okay, what, would you suggest, right off here. what would you suggest for your students to do the right lane or the centre lane? Well, I'd suggest like teaching I'd suggest probably just use the right lane because then you don't have to teach individual roundabouts. You can just teach them to how to do every roundabout. So if it's the third exit, use the third lane. If it's turning right, use the right lane. That's just a blanket rule. But if there's a weird situation at a roundabout on your driving test likely to come up, then definitely you need to practice it. But I was just applying roundabout rules to that roundabout and it seemed to work all right. Very good. Now, we wouldn't necessarily approach from this direction I'm going to ask Francis to do exactly the same roundabout, go in the exact same exit. Okay. I'm not going to start counting in different languages. Third exit. I like that way of doing three. Um, okay, so third well, exit turning three? right. Yeah. Normally I do that. Okay. Yeah? I watched Inglorious 
last night. Did you? And that was the giveaway. Oh, okay. That's why they killed him. Because they knew he was lying. He wasn't German because he did that. Oh. Sorry, spoiler alert. Good movie though. <laughs> okay. Now, would you mind moving to the centre lane? Alright, uh, sure. So we're going to turn right from so the exit. So we're going to do the same. Would you then signal right from here then? It's entirely your preference. Like from turning right at the roundabout? It's your no, choice. Yeah? You can okay. if you choose to. It's not a problem. Cool. Good. So you've kept the centre lane. Yeah? Yeah. If I start in the second lane, I'll carry on to the second lane. Would I spiral to the left now then? Or it just feeds me into the left. Cool. Feeds kind of fed me into the kind left. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. I did have to do a slight lane change there. But it was more obvious that that should have happened. Mm -hmm. And you did your mirror checks at every exit that you passed. You know, yeah. just being aware. Keep the left. Follow the uh, okay. virtual station. Okay.